In this Minecraft Star Wars Path of the Jedi video, I will be showing you five references and connections that I found when playing through this awesome DLC. Before we do get into today's video though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel for more Star Wars gaming videos. On to the references that I discovered in the Path of the Jedi DLC. So the first one is how the lightsaber customization menu is inspired by the one found in Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. This classic game is still beloved to this day. And as you can see, the menu has a lot of similarities from the colour scheme to the sections of how it's broken down. Some people have also noticed how some of the hilts in the Path of the Jedi DLC do look similar to what we got in Jedi Academy, but because it's pixel art, it's a little bit harder to tell, but there is some of the colour scheme going on there. Moving on to an enemy that was also inspired by something else from Star Wars. The enemies that you face on Felucia before getting to the Akle are actually inspired by the Bedlam Raiders as found in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Released this year, Jedi Survivor featured a brand new faction called the Bedlam Raiders. And this faction were the inspiration for the enemies that you face on Felucia in the path of the Jedi DLC. It was confirmed to me that this was the case by Raph, one of the lead developers on this DLC. He popped into my stream when I was going through the game and he revealed this information to me. You can definitely see some of the similarities, but they also have their own differences. And I really do appreciate the artists who put their time and effort into creating something different to the Star Wars universe, but also familiar. Next up is something that's quite obscure. Not many people will have known what it is but it's part of canon, it's a new thing. And if you play through the DLC, you probably will have noticed this arch of what appears to be made out of kyber crystals. If you thought it was kyber crystals, you would be correct. This is literally called the kyber arch. This was recently introduced into canon via the High Republic reading materials. Aside from a comic, this is the first time it has actually been pictured. It's where it should be in the Jedi Temple. As for its significance, it was constructed out of kyber crystals taken from Jedi that had passed away. So they retrieved them from their lightsabers and then built this arch out of all of their kyber crystals. You can see it's in this rainbow formation, so it starts with purple at the bottom and it features all of the colours of the Jedi lightsabers. Another thing that was inspired by something we've seen in Star Wars before was the astromech construction. It's very similar to how it's done at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. In the droid depot there, you can decide on the dome, body, legs, you also get to pick the colours and whatnot and then power it on. This is similar to what happens in Path of the Jedi. You go through the various steps. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it is close enough and I'd imagine they probably got some pointers from either Lucasfilm or, or they just decided this is how they're going to do it because it's a very simple way to build an astromech droid and... There's a really cool way of doing it already within Star Wars in real life and they were able to integrate that within the game somehow. Moving on to a room that struck me as soon as I entered it. This is an area on the Separatist Dreadnought which is almost a one-to-one -one recreation of what we see in Star Wars Battlefront 2. It has all of the details from the floor to the walls to the ceiling there's the CIS logo, the red scanners, the pipes, the windows, and more. You can really tell that they used Battlefront 2's Dreadnought as references for this level because, because the similarities are striking. Comment down below which was your favourite thing that I showed you in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. Subscribe for more Star Wars gaming videos. And if you missed any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on screen right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.